Happy Thanksgiving, Scott. And happy Thanksgiving to you, Steve. What are you thankful for? Uh, well, a lot of things. My new job and everything. But I know that you're thankful for when I pick my nose on the show, which apparently uh, you think I do a lot. Uh, so write that down there. <laughs> if you think I do, <laughs> but you're thankful that, like, unlike Spalding and Caddyshack, I don't eat it. Yeah, and all the sales that are happening going to happen with Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I'm excited about that because you're finally going to buy me that TV. <laughs> no, but I will share my new book by author Mike Shepard about Chris Longknife. Oh, cool. Is Chris Longknife a woman or a man? Woman. Well, at least I know you're not going to sell me a bill of goods. Yeah, but I'm away. Welcome to What Happened in the World Today. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And this is a tale of how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show. On Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving. I'm thankful Happy for for vegan uh, bagels. Vegan bagels. How cool is it? Is that one of your new traditions for Thanksgiving? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to eat vegan bagels for Thanksgiving. We have a Friendsgiving that I don't think I'm going to make because Peggy's working. Um early in the morning and my kids are going out in the evening. So we're going to do like a two o'clock and that's what my friends giving thing is for all of our friends who don't have friends, don't have family here in Vegas. Okay. So if I was actually helping you out on your stressful job that you love a lot anyway, I, love I, this job. I, I would be in your friends thing, friends giving because I wouldn't have any family there. Right. No family here. So cool. it's a lot of fun. And I well, found out something else you're thankful for. That I'm thankful for? Yeah. What else am I thankful for? Apparently, I pick my nose a lot during the show. That's true. Do I go like this? No, not usually. Do I go like this? Pretty much, yes. Uh, yeah, well, like the good that. thing, my nose itches. Well, the good thing you're thankful for is I don't eat the boogers. That is very true. Although, um, try to remember, was it Caddyshack where they were betting on that, whether the guy kid would eat his booger? Spalding. Oh, that was so freaking funny. But anyway, by the way, he did eat the booger. Yes, he did. He did. So the fir first bet was, was he going to pick his nose? And the guy won. And then the other guy won the money back when he ate it. So. Yeah, he did. No. <laughs> so happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. You're gobble, gobble, gobble. So any who's, uh, <sighs> besides your new tradition of eating vegan bagels for Thanksgiving and your friends giving, any other good traditions? Oh, you're, you're getting, your mouth is too full. All right. Well, our tradition has been kind of unique. For most of uh, my married life, we had Thanksgiving with uh, Susie's parents. But since they're both gone, and now my mom's gone, um, my dad's... Uh, For those of you out there, they didn't leave town. They pay, actually passed they away. Passed, well, yeah, because we're old. So they, they were old. Um, so my dad, who is now 86 years old, will be up here in a couple hours. And, uh, oh, he will be? Yeah, he's coming up. Well, my brother's bringing him up. He's... Even though he still drives, that you know where he's from. The traffic, he has no problem driving down there. But let's face it, I'm an hour and a half away. It's a long drive for him. So my brother's bringing him up here, and they'll be here in a couple hours, and off we go. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad your dad's still there because both my mother and father are, pa are passed away. I have passed away. Yes. And my father-in-law's passed away. But I still have Peg's mom. Peg's mom's fun. Yay. Like yes, Mom's Marianne. I've met her a few times. You have. She was at the wedding. She loved you. Yeah. Um, Scott the DJ. Um, oh, you know what else I'm thankful for? What You've else done an you? awesome job editing lately. Uh, thank yeah. you for that. I did like the um, – I don't remember what the show was. It came out on – At least that's I, not a book. I think Saturday, the picture of me doing something and the caption you put in there was good. Oh yeah. 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 I think it was, uh, it's not the drones you're looking for or something. I don't know, but it was good. Yeah. I remember. It was perfect. Cause you had your hand just in the right spot to make oh, watch work. the thumbnails. Ah! We can do Mickey moose and we can do junior Birdman. Oh yeah. God. I'm not flexible anymore there. And it does kind of look like a superhero. It uh, does. It does. Oh, so, cool. Especially, especially with the, 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 the shiny head. Yep. So, um, so our traditions, uh, write down any of your traditions you have down there, make comments down on the bottom. Tell us what your traditions are. 
So if you have a Friendsgiving or a family get together, I always wanted to do that. I always wanted to have a big house with a big family get together. Exactly. Um, but uh, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to make this a short show. So yep. Yep. back to your family. So menu. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. We haven't decided yet. We're, we're still in the planning stages of our, uh, whatever it is, I have to cook it. <laughs> yeah. So but, well, that's not bad, though. That's what I, I could doing. get fun guy the entertainer to cook for me. Well, that's true. But, um, yeah, so I'll figure something out there. I'm not sure what it's going to be. It could be buffalo cauliflower. I, I don't know. Well, I have a 22.22-pound turkey. 22.22 pounds. I saw four twos for the weight. I had to buy that turkey. I just had to. Poor turkey. Yeah. So, that, that's cool. slow cooking in the oven today. I cook. Um, I like slow cooking the turkey. It gives uh, today you started cooking your turkey. Today Thanksgiving. Just today, slow cooking today. Some people there when they're slow cooking, they put it in a day before. A turkey? Oh my god, that would dry the hell out of it. I almost uh, a, a smoker. For hours. A smoker. Oh, smoker. That's a whole nother story. No, no, no. This is oven bake. So oh, okay. I got it down to two hundred and seventy five degrees instead of the normal three fifty. Does it and actually cook at 275 degrees? It does. It cooks it slow. And then when I get, well, I'm actually cooking a turkey and a ham. But, um, the, oh, and you're going to stuff a duck in it. A turducken. I almost did that. Almost did that. But what would it be if you stuck this, if you stuck a ham in a turkey? <laughs> a tur ham? Ham tur? A ham tur. There we go. We're having a ham for Christmas. Oh, no, not hamster. All right. But anyway, right. once we get done eating all this, and then we, of course, pass out. And no, it's not because of the trip to whatever it is. That's a fallacy or wives' tale. Uh, it's just because you eat too much freaking food that you end up getting tired. Right, food coma. Yes. But tomorrow is Black Friday, officially. It, it, it's, it's already started. The, the sales are now Black Monday, Black Tuesday, Black Wednesday. Get this deal on this day. Get this deal on this day. So there is no more Black Friday. And we are feeling the crunch at work. We are getting hammered right now. Absolutely hammered. And, you know, first is year at the rum? company. What's that? Is it rum? Yeah, rum. Vodka? Getting hammered? Vodka, you can't smell it on your breath. Um, but, no, it, it's crazy. Um, we're, we're hitting, like, whoa, we're just doing that. We're doing that. We're doing that. We're doing that. I'm like, oh, okay, that's crazy. So, a lot of fun. But if you're at Best Buy, you, you, are you going to buy me that $129, 43-inch TV? Can you believe that? 43-inch TV, 4K. Cheaper. Well, the 43s, I don't know why they made a 43. Something weird with the size or the machinery or something that's making that because those yes. are really cheap. But then you go over that, it's a more expensive. Correct. Well, the whole thing but is still, the stand the that I use. in the 50s are what? 300 bucks. Right. The stand that I use for our karaoke show, the maximum size TV it holds is 43 inches. There you go. So, so I'll be expecting mine in the mail. But you don't have the stand. I have the stand. Besides, you're working again, so you're making more money than me. <laughs> no, no, never. I have to pay off all the bills from when I wasn't working. But now this is something that I got really interested in because as everybody now knows from watching our shows, I have a device that uses Alexa. I was quiet so she didn't go off. Hey, and Alexa. <laughs> of course, there he does it. He won't move it closer so we can do this. Uh-oh, our internet connection is unstable. Yeah, I see that. But Amazon has the Amazon Smart Plug for only five bucks. So I yell, hey, Alexa. And Amazon takes over our show and makes our internet connection unstable. That's pretty good. There you go. So $99 uh, hoverboard. The she, hover one. She just said that she's not available on the internet. Uh, but fun. yeah, for 99 bucks at Walmart, you get the hover one Liberty hoverboard. That's a damn good deal. Unfortunately, neither you or I can get on it because it has a maximum weight of 160 pounds. <laughs> 160? <laughs> uh, that, that, wow. Wow. Yeah. That's a kid's hoverboard. It's the kid's one, right. But, yeah. And, you know, and, and, of course, this is something that I know you probably have already. I don't because I have a smart watch and a smart phone. Oh, okay. So, well, turn. Target has $149 Fitbit versus smartwatch. But the best deal I found 
uh, for anything was at Home Depot for 99 cents, you can get a poinsettia plant. Nice. Or you can get two 22 inch fresh, 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 what? Wreaths with bows for 12 bucks. Two of them. Oh, you get fresh breath? Fresh breath, yeah. Fresh breath with bows. Did you know poinsettia plants are poisonous? Yes, they are. So Although keep, not, your, they're keep not as your poisonous cats and dogs. People were led to believe in the old days. They said, don't let your animals eat them, they'll kill them. Well, yeah, just like the whole plant, it would. Well, just like when they say, don't let your dog eat chocolate. Yes. They'll kill them. Yes. I yet to know anybody whose dog has died. Now, God forbid, don't try this. But yes. uh, I don't know anybody's dog who's died, and I know millions of stories. Oh, my dog ate a bar of chocolate. Oh, my dog yeah. ate that. Oh, my dog ate that. All it does is it gives them the you know what. It's really bad. They have diarrhea. And, and then you kill them. You can kill them if they're not healthy. And then you kill them because they did diarrhea <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> That's how they die, yes. <sighs> So moving on, because we want to keep this show going quickly, um, our genuine positivity message. Yes, from yes. Daniel Duckery. So, all right, Danielle. Danielle, Daniel. not Daniel. Danielle. Danielle Duckery. Yes. Okay. So it's I a Thanksgiving positivity to... message. But Thanksgiving is a time to give, a time to love, and a time to reflect on the things that matter most in life. So Danielle Duckery actually um, writes card verses. Did you know that? No, I did not. So yeah, she writes card verses and she has books out on all the verses from her cards. Like, you know, Thoughtful Cards Verses for Holidays and Special Occasions, which is a book. Uh, Happy Birthday Greetings for Card Making, which is a cool. book. So yeah. you could, you know, the whole thing about making um, your own card on a computer now. I used to you do that all the time. Yeah, you buy one of her books, and then it has all the sayings in it. Sure. Joyful Easter greetings. And then I you mean, got to spend her 99 got, cents for using her verse. She's got a ton, ton of books. Inspirational verses for greeting cards. And when I say a ton, a ton is 2,000. No, 2,000 pounds. Well, yeah, 2,000 pounds. But she has. But each book probably weighs at least a pound, so that does make sense. She's got 21 books just on this first page here. Oh, yeah, but see, now they'd have to weigh 100 pounds a piece. That's still a lot of books for, for being sayings, books of sayings. True, true. Although, yeah. I have found another author that I've fallen in love with. And who's not, that? Not really in love with, as in like, oh, my God, I love you. Yeah, I love. Oh, I book. thought we were going to skip that and just go right to the positivity message, but okay. We just did the positivity message. I mean, the uh, phrase origin story, but okay. No, no, this is fast. Um, author Mike Shepard, uh, who is in Vancouver, uh, Washington. Um, I've read 14 of his books in the last three months uh, of his Chris Longknife series, which is another science fiction series. Chris Longknife. Yes. Is that like Tom Smalldick? No, it's not pornography whatsoever. As a matter of fact, he keeps it really clean. Okay. You know, there is romance in some of the areas and, and in, in like book number 12, she finally gets married and pregnant, but. All right. So here's what I want to know. All right. So he has 17 books, but he really oh, has more than, than that. Yes. But he has more than 17 books. So yes. here's what I do like. Um, most of his books are one word titles. Correct. Deserter, Defiant, now Training Days, that's two, Resolute, <coughs> you know, Intrepid, but. He has book nine, which is Daring. Yes. And then book 9.5, which is Welcome Home, Go Away. Yes. All of his short story books sell for only 99 cents, and they have a longer title. And what they do is they fill in the gap between the, the two books, the, you know, nine and ten, um, explaining the stuff that happened between the storylines. Yeah, because in book ten is Furious, yes. and book 10.5 is Chris Longknife's Bloodhound. Yes. So but, yeah, I enjoyed I it tremendously. Matter of fact, I liked him so much. I sent him a message on Facebook through his Facebook page to see if I if he'd be amiable to being on our show. I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah. But I thought I'd try it. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Now, here's the other thing I like: Book fourteen, bold. Yes. Book fourteen point one, Ruth Longknife's First Christmas. Yes, that's the baby. 
book 14.5, Chris Longknife's replacement, Admiral Santiago on Alwa Station. Yeah, that's a nice long one. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We're not done yet. There's also a 14.9, yes. Chris Longknife's bad day. Yes. So, so okay, from the bold I, story, he got three straight. But, yeah, so that's kind of funny. Matter of fact, All I right. just picked up number 15. But, any who's. Number yeah. 15. You just picked up number 15, which is Emissary? Yes. Ah. I shouldn't say I picked it up. I downloaded it because I use an ebook. But um, Yeah, I, we, I talked about that. I do an ebook too. And yeah. I normally try to read it at three times the speed. But the book I'm reading currently, the guy has an English accent, so I had to drop it down to two times speed because I couldn't understand him. <laughs> See, that's because you're not reading it. I actually read mine. I read them too. <laughs> I have them read to me, whichever. Yes. Whichever way the two goes. I can't remember where the two is in the sentence. All right. Well, this is phrase origin story is one that you actually found, but it worked good because of the Flack, Black, the Flack Friday stuff. Okay. So what is our phrase origin story? Sell someone a bill of goods. Okay. And, um, yeah, I just noticed that you put it in there and I didn't catch the fact that you didn't link it. it it's your... not linked, but it is there. Yes. Um, you want me to link it for you? Sure. And you just go like that and you go like that. Now you can click on it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So now what does it mean more? they sell them a bill of goods or a bill of goods mean? Uh, we discussed this phrase a while back. They said a bill of goods. The question was, what does it mean? It means a bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but um, let's see. What does it say? It means intention, intentionally misrepresenting something. Uh, values, dates from the 1920s. Selling someone a description of goods rather than the goods themselves. Yes. So to sell someone a bill of goods means to put one over on him. Uh, misleading. What's up, Thumper? Uh, Good question. Da, 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 particular shiploads of goods, such as spice variety, value by quantity, very valuation down the hazards. There's not really. Uh, I should have read this ahead, but I didn't. Uh, did you read it at all? No, because it wasn't a link. That's right. Goods were being sure, oh, oh, Here it is. Goods were regularly traded prior to the ship's arrival. So you'd get the bill of laden. Yes. The misinformation often gave unscrupulous owner an unfair advantage as he traded his goods for a price they would never eventually command due to lateness, spoilage, or even non-existence due to loss at sea. Exactly. So, hey, the ship's on its way. You want to buy it. Here's the bill that's on the ship, yep. and you buy it. So you sold them a bill of goods. So to be All sold right. a bill of goods, therefore – was uh, buying sight unseen and hoping and to turn a profit getting screwed. Yep. <laughs> when a ship came to port, which often they quite never did in the old days. Yeah, it's but very true. That. So that is our phrase origin story. And with that, I want to say thank you for watching and happy Thanksgiving. And if you feel our show is not a bad life decision and you are now stuffed with turkey. Is there more? I don't remember. Please subscribe, like, watch our other shows and channels. Uh, go to Fun Guy Entertainer Cooks for You. He'll show you how to cook a turkey slowly. And uh, go to what happened, what happened dot world. Yep. Not dot com, not dot biz, not dot any org, dot world, dot W-O-R-L-D, what happened dot world. And uh, link up with us. You'll be able to find uh, Fun Guy the Entertainer. Well, you won't be able to find Fun Guy the Entertainer Cooks for You on there because I haven't had a chance to get back and fix that. But maybe you never will. So you're going to have to go find Fun Guy Near Terror Cooks for you on, there, on his own. Uh, is your web page in your bio? You know, you yes. can add that. Yeah, so, so you can go there and get it and get the Scott stuff from there. You can message us there. You can get to all of our videos. You can get to all of our podcasts. Uh, go subscribe to our podcast. We have to get on iHeartRadio's list of podcasts. Exactly. So go add us to that. But with that, I want to say uh, live every day, and we'll see you on the next show. Be genuinely positive. Live and love life and have a good one. Uh, 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 uh,